the average Toronto rent has now passed $3,000 and this is a lot. It just keeps on going up. The only time that we ever saw price go down was during the pandemic, but the pandemic is two or three years behind us now and we're just looking forward. I'm Bawanka with the Compass team and Royal LePage and let's get into it. Let's talk about what's going on in rent as a consumer, a renter, and also as an investor, a landlord. Now, as a consumer, I'm sorry to say this is tough times and Toronto is just, I say it a lot of times, it's a world-class city and world-class city comes with world-class rent. So a year ago, the average price was around $21.50 for a one bedroom rental. Right now, we're sitting at an average price of $2,500, just over $2,500 for a one bedroom rental. Now, I mean, this is a lot. This is something that's difficult to deal with. A 15% increase in a year, that's, that's just how do you handle that? One of the biggest reasons is going to be inflation. Another one is going to be interest rates going up. And while these interest rates are going up, that is going to start affecting things like people who are ready to buy or thinking about buying. And now they're not able to afford that same home. Uh, they're not able to afford the home that they want to live in, whether it's going to be too small or most likely it's going to be too small, not the location that they're looking for. So they just decide, you know what, we'll rent, we'll save up more money. Hopefully interest rates come down and then we'll move into the buying market. Now, on the other hand, for investors, things are looking good for you in terms of the amount of rent that you're going to be able to get one thing that's very important to know this is for this is for a tenant and this is also for landlords any home that's built after november 2018 any home built after november 2018 home condo etc if it's built after that time there is no rent control okay so we've seen and no rent control meaning if you want to bring up the price of rent to market rent that's allowed whereas if the homes that are built uh, before 2018 those ones this year we're only allowed to go up 2.5 percent the year before that um maybe 2.2 during the pandemic you couldn't bring it up at all so those ones you can't really get to the market rent if you have a tenant who's staying there for a long time and this is good for tenants to know because if you're in one of these newer buildings a, a year later they might Bring up the rent, $200, $400, $600, and there's not really anything you can do except move and go find somewhere else. So that's an issue that tenants are dealing with. But as an investor, as a landlord, you, if you bring up the rent like that, you might also lose a really good tenant. So those things are something that you have to take into the equation as well. Um, the other biggest thing is there's so many uh, immigrants, there's so many new people coming to Toronto, coming to Ontario, coming to Canada. Um, but like I said, it's a world-class city and many of them want to come here. And majority of times they are going to start out in the rental market. So we do have a shortage of homes. One thing that's important to know is 40% of condos are actually used as rentals. Now, newer condos built within like the last five years, 60% of those are rentals. So it is Toronto is becoming a, a renter's city. Now, we like to work with a lot of investors. If you're interested in finding out more about becoming an investor, always feel free to reach out. I'm Bawanka with the Compass team. My phone number is 416-409-7294 um, with Royal LePage signature as well. We're looking forward to hearing from you and always feel free to Click the link in the description to set up a time to talk. And if you like this video, if you got some value from it, share it with someone who, who might be interested in it. And hey, give us a thumbs up. We'll see you next week.